And I'm not telling you to see the light. I'm telling you to create the light. Create the light with your words. Create the light with your actions. Create the light with your thoughts and your thought process. And this is what I mean when I say bestimism instead of pessimism. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Hey! <laughs> oh, my name is Mahala. I'm back with another video. I'm excited to talk about this topic today, which is pessimism versus optimism. Oh my God, Mahala, what does that mean? Well, I was going to title the video pessimism versus optimism, but a friend of mine told me to call it pessimism versus optimism because I'm gonna be talking about how to hope for the best while you also expect the worst, since sometimes life just isn't the best, like blatantly isn't the best. So this video is for people who might not be in the best headspace and might be at a point in their life where they just don't see an up, like there is no nothing positive about the situation. Do you know what I mean? Like something can happen and people are like, oh, you know, just look at the bright side. And oftentimes it's very hard to see the bright side in certain situations because what could be the bright side in this, you know? And this happens in life. So I just wanna make a video. I wanna make a positive video about real situations, real situations that might not seem good. And I just wanna embrace this darker side of things and teach people how to get through it because at the end of the day, it's not the best. It might not work out for you, but guess what you are gonna do? You're gonna get through it. So if you've ever been at a point in your life where you're just down, can't see the up, don't know how you're gonna make it, then this video is First, for you. I'll discuss a pessimistic point of view and why we shouldn't have that. We shouldn't leave with so, that. So some will ask, Mahala, what's wrong with pessimism? My situation isn't good. It's not getting better. I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being realistic. So to those who say, I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being realistic. Here's my response. You can be realistic about your situation, but when we add our own opinions and we add our own negative opinions, even if the situation itself doesn't seem very positive, when we, as soon as we add our thoughts and our energy to it and it's not positive, we are adding more negative on it, right? We're, we're actually making it worse. We're making it worse for ourselves. And when we're down like that, I promise it can be a major challenge to see any type of light in it. And I'm not telling you to see the light. I'm telling you to create the light. Create the light with your words. Create the light with your actions. Create the light with your thoughts and your thought process. And this is what I mean when I say bestimism instead of pessimism hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. So like I said, keep watching, I'll get into it more. So how do you hope for the best when you are experiencing the worst? How do you hope for the best when you are experiencing the worst? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I feel you. Well, I can only tell you what I've done. In the times that I have been down and out, barefoot, bald, broke, I have hoped for the best with not a false sense of positivity, but an actual inner knowing that it will get better. Not this fake, uh, oh, it'll get better. Yeah, you know, I'm seeing the bright side. Yeah, I lost five million dollars but hey it taught me a lesson <laughs> i wish somebody would i wish somebody would no i'm saying i lost five million dollars and i know i'm gonna get it back how do i know because i know me because i know my hustle i know what i work for i know how i work 
And even if I don't get it back, hey, I know, shoot, no, I know I'm gonna get it back. And that's what I mean about hoping for the best. Like, I hope I get it back. I'm gonna work to get it back, but not this, uh, you know, at, at least it went to a good cause. Oh, at least, uh, you know, see the bright side in it. You learned a lesson. I am about to learn how to get my $5 million back. Do you see what I'm saying? And that's what I mean about creating your inner light. You want to create this inner knowing in yourself that it's gonna get better. Why? Because I know me and I know that I'm gonna work to make it better. I know God, I know the universe, I know div divinity. It's gonna get better for me. Why? Because that's law. That's law, that's practice. That's the, the bare minimum. So when I talk about false positivity, I'm talking about somewhat like faith without works. False positivity to me is like faith without works because it's like, oh yeah, haha, -ha, rainbows, sunshine, butterflies. But do you know the rainbows, the sunshines, the butterflies? And if you don't, you have to create that within yourself as within as without right we're manifesting it into ourselves and we know we have that inner knowing and soon enough because that's how the law of attraction works we're gonna see better days we're gonna see our rainbows our butterflies our sunshines and our five milli yeah <laughs> so when i say hoping for the best i'm really just talking about knowing yourself and knowing that you are the best knowing that you will work for the best, knowing that you attract the best. And you may be down right now, but you really have to have this inner knowing that it will get better. It doesn't look better. The situation, like, you can't see a way out, but you have to know that there is a way out. And the pessimistic talk, there's no way out. This isn't gonna get better for me. This always happens to me that is literally creating this negative narrative for you to only attract more negativity and i know that that's not what you want especially when you're down and like i said you can't see the light you have to create the light you have to be the light because no one's going to create it for you and even if someone did create it for you it's not genuine it's not coming from you it's not coming from your source and your faith so it's just gonna you know it just goes right over your head you know when someone when something happens and they're like oh it's gonna get better me i'll look at that like excuse you <laughs> are you gonna help me make it better no oh okay then that's just me <laughs> i get a little uh, when when things are down for me i tell people when i'm down leave me alone because you could just say the wrong thing and now it's on you now it's me and you, huh? Huh? Shut a cup your mouth. Shut. <laughs> I'm working on it. Hey, I'm working on it. But back to it. Hoping for the best. All right. That was that. Now expecting the worst. Mahala, how is expecting the worst different than pessimism? Pessimism, this is my opinion, is what we put on it. Pessimism is like our energy towards the subject expecting the worst is to me not putting any energy toward the subject expecting nothing not putting anything towards it nothing 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 literally instead of being pessimistic and you know kind of expecting something better but saying it's not gonna get better rather than literally expecting nothing so you can't say whether it's going to get better or worse because you have basically no opinion on it. I'm, I'm encouraging us to expect nothing, to expect the worst. And when I say expect the worst as opposed to expect nothing, I mean, isn't, isn't the worst nothing? Technically, say we're in a bad situation. The worst thing that could happen is that nothing happens and I'm still stuck in that situation yes expect nothing expect nothing because when something better does come 
you're going to be so grateful. Let me talk more about that. I'm just going to give an example that say you crash your car and lose your car. Ah, to get out of this situation, I told on my car to get out of this situation, I expect my mom to give me $10,000 cash so I can get another one and I can pay all the fees and everything. That's what I expect. Or I don't expect anybody to help me. Man, you know, this situation sucks, but I know that there's a way out. I don't know who, I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know where, but I know there's a way out. Then my mom gives me $10,000 for me to get a new car. Ah, pessimism. This is the best thing that could have happened in this situation. Why? Because I didn't expect anything from it. I did not expect her to give me $10,000. I expected there to be a way out. I didn't know how I was going to make a way out. I didn't know where it was coming from. I didn't know who. I didn't expect it to come from her because I expect I didn't expect anything. But now this is the best. I'm just really getting at the energy that we put towards the situations we're in. It may not seem like it's going to get better, but truth be told, expect it not to. Expect it not to get better, but know that it will. Have this inherent knowing, this self-knowing, this inner power to know that your situation is going to get better. But when I say expect it not to, I'm saying don't expect where it's going to come from. Don't expect when it's going to get better. Don't expect who's going to participate in it getting better. Don't expect from people or things expect from yourself know from within have this self-confidence because no matter what happens to you no matter what happens to you you are you you are the only person you have at the end of the day so if you're at the table and there's a bunch of stuff on it and you you don't see how you're gonna keep holding it up know that you have four legs on this table this is how you are built you were built to hold up. You were built for this. You had to be built for this. What do they say? God gives his toughest battles to the strongest soldiers and God will not give you something that God didn't think you could handle. You were built for this. It doesn't feel good. It's not the best situation. It doesn't, it's this, it's that. This person didn't this, this person didn't that. But where you went wrong was expecting anybody to get you out of where you're at. Only you can. And the only way that you can get yourself out of your situation is by hoping for the best, working for the best, but expecting the worst, expecting nothing. Especially because you don't want to add this added weight of expectations on people. Now, let me talk about the downsides of expecting. I expect my cat to go number two every morning so i make all of these preparations and this and that and then one day my cat doesn't do it now i don't went out of my way and this and that now i'm mad at the cat well there's another perspective to it so that you're not mad at the cat so that you're not mad at the situation at hand because of all the effort you put into it and I know that was a wacky example, but I hope you're still following that sometimes we expect so much from people and things we expect. Like we think we know what we don't know. We don't know. We, we expect this person to help us. We expect that person to say this, that person to do that, that person to do this. But if we expect the worst, we expect nothing from them. We are going to be gifted so much more, so much more. Now, like the bare minimum and standards and this and that, that's a whole nother video. But right now I'm talking about not expecting anything so that the universe, so that God can give us way more than even what we would have expected if we expected something. Surprise parties, for example, when you walk into that party, you are not expecting to arrive at your party. 
but that's what makes it feel so much better because wow you guys planned all of this it was a surprise like look the part is you didn't even expect there to be balloons at your party why because you didn't even expect to have a party but now you have a party with balloons now you have a party with all your friends you didn't even expect to see your friends that day this is what I mean about expecting the worst, expecting nothing, but hoping for the best. I hope I see my friends on my birthday. Do I expect to see my friends on my birthday? No, because I know they might be busy. I hope I do, though, because when you do see them, wow, I was hoping for this. I was, I'm excited, and now they, your friends even came with gifts. All you wanted to do was hope to see your friends. All you hoped was to see them, but now they came with five million dollars. Hey now, say now. If you love me, just say that. This is what I mean about hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Your situation will get better. You will make it out of your situation. You just have to have this inner confidence, this inner knowing that it will. It's inherent that it gets better. It's natural that it gets better. It is. But when we add this negative energy, when we add our own spin, our own pessimism, we're just delaying the process and we're making it worse for us mentally. We're, we're in this mental prison of this and that and this and that. And I'm just encouraging us all to know, to have that self-confidence. Even when you don't have confidence in your circumstances, even though you don't have confidence in the people around you, you have to bet on yourself every time. And when you bet on yourself, that means that you know. You know it's going to get better. But I don't expect you. I don't expect you. I don't expect this. I don't expect that. Pessimism versus optimism. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I say that right? <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for tuning into this video. I'm really going to work on doing weekly videos. That's my goal. I apologize for the delay, but thank you for tuning into this one. Remember to like, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Peace.